Good evening, everyone. I'm Kinsley Centers. Thank you for joining us for News 4 at 6 from Miracle on Foster. These bins are filling up, but we need more donations. You guys have just about an hour left to come out to Foster Street to make donations in person today right outside of our station. But donation bins located at select grocery stores across the wire grass will stay out until the 10th. Our goal is to fill up six of those giant boxes. You just saw that we are a little bit over halfway there, but we still need some room to feed the wire grass. That's our mission today. We're joined by News 4's Will Paulston, who will give us the rundown on some of the most needed items. Will, what do people need to donate? Yeah, Kinsley, just think about your pantry at home. Whenever you think about what's in there, such as pastas, canned goods, such as these, I mean, all types of stuff that anything you can think of that is non-perishable can come here and will benefit somebody here in the Wiregrass. As you can see, completely full here in this bin, which is just amazing. We've got a couple more collection bins farther down here, and we've also got Luke. Shout out, Luke. What a good boy. All right, calm down. <laughs> but we've got other things, you know, boxes of pasta. We've got stuff for cakes, anything that you can think of. When I tell you the possibilities are endless, He's saying it himself. So uh, come out here, come plenty of time still, just a little bit of that last second push. Let's really try to fill these boxes with non-perishable food items and also hygiene items. You can bring those out here, soap, shampoos, anything like that to also throw into those boxes. If you don't have time for that, even a monetary donation would help as well. So come on out here and come make a difference in somebody's lives today. Yes, you can donate all sorts of items. You heard News 4's Will Polson and you heard News 4's Caroline Gerhardt's dog, Luke. Come on out and donate. And if you plan on going to the Nutcracker tonight on Foster Street, it's not going to be too far away. So go ahead and stop by and donate to a great cause.